Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you something that probably nobody has shown you on YouTube just yet. I'm going to show you how to fully automate or almost fully automate an article with diagrams, images, and flowcharts. This is building on what I've been working on in the last few weeks. Yes, I am still keeping my niche a secret and it is driving me completely insane, but I do have Coffee Somnium, which is a good one that I can use to show you an example. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to say, um, can you give me 10 coffees, uh, five of the best coffees? I don't know, it's a weird question, but I just need some information to feed chat, chat GPT. You don't actually necessarily have to do it like this. Um, but yeah, this is just how I am going to do it. And then I'm going to give it a bit more information, like what are the flavor profiles of the best coffee brands, that kind of stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this information to rank on Google, but there's a little twist. We are using GPT-4 and we are using plugins. We are using Creative Mind, Mermaid Chart, and Diagram. This prompt will be in the description, but let's just read through it quickly. Use these three plugins to add graphics and images to an article. Firstly, create the images and graphs, store them, then create an entire markdown article with creativity and burstiness like a human. This doesn't actually really work, but whatever. The title should be the best coffee brands are in the world, the best coffee in the world. This is just an example, guys. Um, that you would have to do your own affiliate links and things. This doesn't really automate affiliate links just yet, but break up walls of text with markdown and HTML, lists, photos, graphs, and tables. Add a table at the top summarizing the entire article. Do not add a table of contents. Do not use footnotes. Do not use external links. Include these internal links contextually with anchor text throughout the article. Please spread out the images and visualizations throughout the article. And then I've just got some fake uh, internal links, but you can just put your own internal links. And then I'm just going to paste the content from Perplexity, and we're going to watch the magic happen together. So the first thing that happens is it uses Creative Mind. What is Creative Mind? It's actually Dali, I believe. I believe it's using Dali. Might be something else similar to Dali. Not 100% sure. But what it's doing right now is it's creating stock images to be used in our article. And you can see that wasn't actually too long. It's only been maybe five to 10 seconds. And when, while this is doing what it's doing, the best part about this method is you can already start to do the keyword research for the next article. You can already think about the next article you're gonna write. You could be you know, answering an email. You could go to the toilet, like whatever it might be. And I've been finding this really, really nice at work, okay? So now we're gonna be using, it's just used diagram, okay? So it's created probably a chart or a pie chart or whatever. And now it's making a flow chart using something called mermaid chart. All of this together and all of the stuff from the prompt that I just gave you before, that is a lot of content for Google to read. So it has recently, uh, since I got home, it, Mermaid Charts has not been working. I'm not really sure why, but I'm sure it will be working in a few days. I'm sure it's just a little bug or something like that. I'm not actually sure what the problem is. It says failed rendering the Mermaid diagram. So I'm not actually sure what the problem is here, but it was working before. Unfortunately, I can't show you because the only place I have one of these on is the niche that I am trying to hide. So the best coffee in the world, coffee, the magical brew, blah, blah, blah. Summary. So this is what I really like. Right at the top, we have a nice summary. You could easily put affiliate links here. It would not take very long. And then we have images. <clears throat> Obviously, when I actually make a video here, it decides to use text, which doesn't work that well. I've been using this all day and it hasn't used text even once. So yeah, that's actually kind of annoying that it's just decided to do that like randomly. But basically, this is the process. This is not the best example. I was definitely getting much better output today while I was doing it. But we'll, we will just use this as an example because I do need to show you a few more steps. So now you've done that, you wanna go into your WordPress and yeah, these are tiny URLs, which is a problem, okay? So we're gonna add new and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna work around the image problem. So from here, you can just control V. Uh, obviously you will have to delete the <laughs> chat GPT thing at the top, but when Mermaid is working, that will not be an issue, okay? That's only an issue because Mermaid isn't working. So we have a table here and we have images. Unfortunately, 
If I, let's just publish this and I'll show you why this is an issue and how we can fix it. Once this has published, we can click view page and I'll show you what the problem is. So this looks amazing, et cetera, et cetera. And normally we would be fine with this. Um, obviously there's text here, so it's not the best, but overall, you know, decent article that's been, um, that's been created with, with images. But if I track this image over, you can see it's got some weird link right here. What will happen is within an hour, this image will be gone because it's not a permanent upload. It's just a random link. Okay. So instead, what we're going to do is when you copy and paste the images into your WordPress or whatever you're using, what you want to do is you want to right click and you just want to press save image as, and then you want to give it a name. Yes, I did spend time renaming all of these photos <laughs> to something to do with my niche, secret niche. You will never guess my niche, the best niche in the world, etc., etc. So let's say the best coffee brands, for example, this will then download this image. And then all we do is drag and drop it here. And now it's a permanent image. So you can do the best coffee brands. I would recommend um, writing something in the alternative text here, just because it's decent for SEO. And yes, this is not fully manual, uh, sorry, not fully automated. I was trying to find a way to take the image URL and automatically upload it to WordPress. Currently, I haven't been able to work that out yet. Another thing is you do not have to drag this graph around. Okay. I was actually wrong about that. Uh, it's completely unnecessary, but we have internal links. Okay. We have images. Uh, yes, the, it, it's not that much text but you can obviously use any of my prompts to make more text. Okay. So what you could do, for example, is you could take this and you could take it into the playground or not into the playground, just depending on what you want to do. I like to turn the temperature down a bit, up a bit, uh, maximum length up. And I, you could say something like, can you add 10 paragraphs to this content? Don't add new brands, just add content around the currently existing content to help me rank. This is just an example, but if I click submit here, it will, um, let's just cancel this and say, please use markdown formatting and give me a title, etc. And then press submit. Okay. So let's see if this actually works quickly. It should work. It's using markdown right now. Let's see if it includes the embeds and things like that. So what it's doing, well, to be honest with you, all you have to do is just take the added content, if that makes sense. So if this doesn't uh, include the images, I'm going to say, please, let's just start this again, but you can just cancel it and say, um, please do this, but let's say, please expand on this content. Do not change any, uh, markdown formatting, include all photos and internal links, etc. Okay. And then if I press submit, it should pick up on the fact that it's marked down this time. Yes, exactly. And we'll just make sure that it's adding the images. Yeah. It's got the, yeah. Okay. So this is one way to just make it more content, but to be honest with you, when you're writing a short article like this, I actually don't think this is necessary. I'm just doing this. I'm just showing you this for the people who are going to say this is only 200, 300 words. Sometimes people don't want 5,000 words. Please remember this. If you want to know the five best coffee brands, you're not going to spend hours and hours reading one article about the best coffee brands. Let's be honest. Okay. So you need to grab people's attention. You need to be short. You need to be sweet. And that is exactly what this method is for. So you can see this is full screen. Um, so the thing I showed you in yesterday's video where you have to drag it to make it bigger, not necessary. I thought it was necessary, but it's really not. Okay. That's going to be it guys. I really hope this helps. I love the fact that we can now automate basically everything inside chat GPT. I really, really like this. When I was using mermaid diagrams earlier, um, I sent some examples to the person that owns article Fiesta Ash. And he was very, very impressed by it. He, he is the only person who knows the niche that I'm currently in. And he was very impressed by it. 
that he said that the flow charts would definitely help ranking on Google. I cannot wait to show everyone the website in the course, but I do have another video coming before that, I'm pretty sure, because I'm just waiting for some results. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.